this container right here needs to be leveled out and straightened up so that it's even with this one like these two are not a big deal I can do that Homer can do that this one wound up a ways from the spot where it needs to go that's gonna be our home site right there I want to clean that up some more anyway and I actually was just putting rock down right there so they could back up to it but I can finish spreading this other pile out bring in a little bit more my parking area took a little bit of a beating but you know I can straighten that out and pulling this container from where it's at right there over to there is not really that big a deal as I'll show you I gotta do a little thinning right here so I'm gonna have some round long things to put under there I'm gonna go ahead and put Homer's chains on him because he doesn't have to go out on the road and haul trucks for a while and he can just sit right here with his chains on him so I'm gonna pull him up there chain his front bumper to a tree use my snatch block when I'm ready and pull this container over there where it needs to be I'll also pull this container over to the right on that far end just a little bit more get it leveled off we did pick up 18 railroad ties <laughs> poor tug my other tractor he picked him up off the guy's trailer and backed up and then wouldn't go anywhere uh, I think he's done all the work that he's gonna do without getting some serious attention so I'm kinda excited about getting the home area all cleaned up and tidied up I'm gonna clean the bank up down by the stream and uh, we'll get this put over there get my fifth wheel over here I'm gonna make a little temporary home and moving forward and the Sun is shining today that's good poor old tug said that's it he said I've been telling you for over a year that I need a new clutch yesterday we unloaded these railroad ties off a guy's trailer out here. Tug picked him up, backed up, and said, that's it. That's as far as I'm going. So, Pumpkin's going to give him a hand. I just throw the railroad ties on the back of my three-point there. And Anyway, we're going to unload Tug. He's got enough juice to get himself back to the parking area. We'll take him back there. And uh, Thank you for your service, Tug. Yeah. That old tractor loaded up every single thing we had at the old property. And uh, despite having a wore out clutch, got the job done. We need to give him a break. Yep. Pumpkin helped pull him out yesterday. Uh, <laughs> if you get it the least bit of a hill at all, the tug won't go. It's a shame because that tractor, when I got it and it had a good clutch in it, it pulled <laughs> that moving van right there up a muddy hill loaded yep so we'll get them put back together actually we have to split them in half and then we'll get them put back together and while I'm at it I'll go ahead and give them a full resto but right now I gotta unload some railroad ties yeah old tug just did his last job out here till he gets a little love and attention but he moved Jamie's new Jamie's new place <laughs> You have no idea how much fun we had with this thing today. But anyway, I thought I'd move it back here because this is about halfway back on the part of the property that we're working. And uh, so she can, it's kind of central for, for her to use. And, you know, we really should have got that a long time ago. Anyway, so we're going to work on our home site right now. Like I said, I'm done sniveling about the container guys, uh, you know. It is what it is, and this big metal box is no match for Homer and his block and tackle. And uh, so we're gonna thin out a few trees over here. Jamie's clearing the bases of the trees right now so that I can uh, get in there with my chainsaw. We're not taking all the trees out, we're just taking out the parts that would be hanging over our home. And then uh, I'm gonna clear this spot. What? No, she's not. Anyway, I'm gonna spread this load of gravel out here. We just noticed it started getting a little mushy right there, and we're gonna be going in and out of these containers, and I do gotta get that boy over there leveled out and lined up, no problem. But I'm gonna spread this load of rock. And so we're done using the really big rock, this stuff right here, and we're going to this size, which is still pretty big rock. 
it's time to do that. I'm going to get this spread out right here so that we don't lose this area that we've got uh, pretty solid. And uh, I'm going to go build a home site right there. And I'll just to give you a little perspective, I'll show you where the stream is from here. Because we're going to build a deck on top of that container that's going to be attached to my fifth wheel. And uh, then... Uh, Such an awesome lady. I love her. Anyway, uh, this will be where our home's at. And then right back here, this will be our view. We'll get up in the morning and uh, have our coffee. I'm going to mow this bank down right here. And then we'll have a view of this stream right here. Jamie was out here yesterday and said there were five deer over there snacking on grass. And uh, that would be kind of neat. Anyway, just good to be moved out here and be working on our property and working at our own pace and uh, kind of put the joy back into it. And I thank God for all the blessings. Myself, put in some overtime last night got all the debris cleaned out of the home site well the temporary home site and uh, opened it up that's just with the blackberry bushes and stuff run over I'm gonna go ahead and go attach my brush hog to the back of pumpkin and kind of mulch that stuff but yeah I like this spot it really opened up a lot without having to do too much I think it'll be a cool spot for the fifth wheel streams right over there I did run into a problem I was just kind of running this stuff over to get an idea of the terrain 
and I ran into this. <sighs> so there's a day's work that I wasn't counting on. About 30 or 40 truck tires that have been put in this shallow area here between these trees. So I'll have to chain all those up, drag them out of there, load them on a trailer, and uh, take them to a tire disposal facility. But, you know, comes with the turf. So we'll get it cleaned up. Just wanted to show you. And I'm going to put the uh, container and the fifth wheel up on railroad ties right here and elevate them a little bit so that we can have this view over here and I'm also going to build a deck on top of the container so this will be nice yep. I'm going to get this all packed in we'll have grass in here there's the debris I hauled out chop all that up into firewood and stuff and today my plan is to get the brush hog on there mulch all this stuff that's on the ground up um, get it chopped up and then I have to move that container up here where I'm at I'm gonna use those logs that I cut into sections to skid it on and Homer's winch with a block and tackle I'm also gonna chain Homer up because he doesn't need to be going down the road for anything for a while so I'm gonna put his chains on and then I'm gonna chain his front bumper to that stump right there and uh, hopefully we'll be able to drag that over here without a bunch of problems well I got my brush hog all hooked up and lubed up and sharpened and <laughs> I really don't want to go out there right now but I just had Jamie drop me off out here today she had some errands to run and uh, no point being out here if I'm not gonna get something done it up quite a bit but it stopped raining I don't know if you guys are even still running over here yeah but you're wet you are wet yeah it really opened it up a lot since yesterday uh, I realize it looks like a mud pit over there but you got to make it ugly before you can make it pretty and uh, this really opened it up. It's too bad all those tires are off in there, but I'll get those dealt with and get that area cleaned up too. One thing I do like is that I opened up another route back to where we're going to build our permanent home when we, uh, we're going to build a tree house way back there in that stand of trees. There's some really big old growth trees back there, a lot of them. And, uh, that's where we're eventually going to build the house fit. Right now, this would be a good little camp spot. Yep. I'll be able to keep an eye on my trucks and uh, have close access to everything and may even have us a decent view over here. We'll see when I get it all set up. But Jamie really likes this spot back here. and We see deer back here all the time, so... 
be kind of neat to be here and listen to the sound of the water and uh, nice place to wake up hopefully before too long it does take a lot longer to do things than you think but we're getting there I'm happy with the progress so up on my menu now I'm gonna go chain Homer up my tow truck and uh, raise both ends of that 40 foot shipping container right there put some of those logs under it chain Homer's front bumper to that stump and see if I can winch that thing over here and get this spot ready to bring my fifth wheel over yeah we need to spread some grass seed over here now one thing I do like about this spot is this is really high ground up here I mean it's a long ways down to the stream and uh, there's this natural dip right here it's down to the stream so that'll be helpful anyway I'm gonna give you guys a break dry the camera off and go get Homer got a little cold and wet yesterday mowing down the home site but I like the way it came out that'll work today I've got Homer all chained up got his tire chains on there so that he can get traction in the mud and uh, hopefully I'm gonna have my way with this container today one man one container and one tow truck gonna get the job done get this container from where it is right there to where it needs to be which is right there and uh, that's the plan <laughs> it never seems to go the way I plan it but uh, I've learned a lot about moving these containers around and I've learned a lot about that tow truck and uh, with the help of these logs I'm hoping we're gonna get her done today because if we get this container over there and uh, all blocked up and leveled out and bring my fifth wheel in put it right alongside it attach them and get to building a little home spot for my sweetie and I Oh, I wanted to show you last video I showed Pumpkin helping out some buddies. He's got some horses next door that he helped get access across the stream. And uh, apparently they want to hang out with us. Because <laughs> this is where we're, our home's going. And we were putting it here because we thought, oh, won't that be neat? We can look at all the deer over there. Well, those look a little large for deer to me look they're like where'd he come from pretty cool let me go get to work on that This is not helpful. <laughs> I had a bolt snap off right there, which caused this right here to come loose, which is a big metal bracket that goes on the front of my tractor and holds that pin that's in the middle of my front axle into this hole over here. But uh, it's not in there anymore. I was backing up and I noticed something was a little out of whack with my alignment. <laughs> that is not good. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that happens all the time. As you can see, one wheel's turning to the right and the other's uh, going straight ahead. So, uh, but this is the kind of stuff that happens. It comes with the territory. You just uh, break out the tools 
and do what you can. It looks like I'm gonna have to re-drill uh, that hole in there. And uh, I don't know if that's even gonna go back into position. It may be bent like that. Um, but like I said, that's why we have tools. And I still wanna get this container moved. And pretty sure I need this guy to do it. Hmm. Maybe I don't need that guy to do it. Before I go building a, my own railroad out here, I thought I'd see if this is going to work, what I got going here. Yeah, and I realized that those aren't round logs, but uh, I think the container might slide on them. I've got Homer well blocked behind his wheels there. Uh, yep, everything hooked up. Thought I'd give it a shot, and we'll see how he does. So I think the cable on Homer will actually reach up to, I need his front end up there. I may be able to get this done in one more pool. That seemed to work okay. Let me uh, get him repositioned, get some more railroad ties up underneath the front of that container. We'll see if we can make a home run today. Yeah. Good deal. Good job, Homer. <laughs> Never know what you're going to see out here. Anyway, Homer has no trouble picking that boy up. I got plenty of space under there. I'm going to go relocate some logs and ties and, like I said, go for the home run. Get her done. What, what, what? I think you made the right choice. Uh, what are you up to, farmer? I'm building a railroad. A railroad now? I'm building a railroad. That's my freight car. Whoa. Everybody knows an ant can't move a rubber tree plant, but he's got Move that rubber tree plant. Ready? Here goes the Come along, little doggy. Way up high on a Ford 350, I took this video.
defies all the rules of shipping containers. <laughs> Look at that. Come along, little doggy. Come along. Classic truck ranch built solely by one man and a tow truck named Homer. And that ain't no bull. Find time to take a break. Huh? Boy, that just moved along so smoothly. You just defy all the rules of cargo containers. He's all that and a bag of chips. He's a whole damn part of me. You can do it, you can do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no, you got problems. Marge, Marge the land barge. Your Homer got himself a big girl. <laughs> I thought I'd lift it up a little bit. I'd go ahead and stack the railroad ties up under this end, get Homer around to the other end, pick that up, put some ties under that. This baby's parked. You know what? All you got to do is create some kind of wheelbase to attach to Homer. And he could pull these things like down the road. Look at it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You are such a weirdo. Yeah, I am. I, I love you. Thank you. I love you too. What do you think of that? Good huh. spot for it? Yep. Pumpkins kind of let me down a little bit today, but like I told Jamie earlier, he's been working his butt off and things going to happen. I'm going to give uh, Pumpkin and Tug both some much needed love. Probably Pumpkin first because I really need him. I'll tell you what, I didn't like packing those railroad ties around all of them. I'm getting too. Uh oh, here we go. You guys don't know about this. I'm getting too old. <laughs> for packing these darn railroad ties around, Jamie. Darn. You know, when we when we first <laughs> come to cross this broad, there weren't no roads. You want a road, you went and got you some rock, and it was uphill, both ways, both ways. <laughs> you are so funny. That kind of does something for me. <laughs> well, you're funny then. <laughs> All right, let's get this baby leveled out. We can bring the fifth wheel in now, honey. We put in some long hours last night, but I'll tell you what, it's good to have this container positioned where it needs to be and all blocked up and uh, ready to bring the fifth wheel in and put it next to it. Now, uh, I didn't actually get a level out and level that up, but when you walk inside it, it feels very level. Um, but I'm going to let that sit for a few days, let it kind of put some weight on those blocks on the ground and uh, uh, yeah those blocks stick out because what I do is I kind of stagger them when I put them under there so they're not butted up end to end and uh, it makes them kind of when you kind of weave them together it makes them a little more solid for a foundation but yeah I'll let that settle in a little bit maybe in a week or so come back and uh, take a hydraulic jack and just kind of shim it up and get it perfectly level but that's good progress Jamie found another tree she likes I just mowed that area down back there you 
it used to be surrounded by bushes. Oh, that is a big boy, isn't it? What kind of tree is that, Jamie? That is a big one. Hey, I finished your deck. I finished your deck. Yeah, it's all done. You can go up there now. It's finished. <laughs> oh. Yeah. This will be nice. Wow. Yeah, this would be a nice place to have a deck. I like it. Um, not the river. You can see the stream. The river is way through there. Kind of gives you a different perspective, doesn't it? No. Jimmy's truck got a little muddy yesterday. You should see the rearview mirror. It's just covered with mud. The name of my porta potty is Louie. Louie Louie. I had a comment where somebody said that Jamie needed to name her porta potty, and then the very next comment said, Oh, Jamie got a Lou. So, guess what? Jamie's Lou got a name. <laughs> Job done. All right, I'm gonna get my butt back to work. Classic truck rescue, classic truck ranch. Getting better, making progress. Yep. All right, you go get gravel. I'll move your container. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna fix pumpkin today, and I still will if I have time, but. I'm on a container roll right now. All the containers are looking pretty good and kind of where they need to be. This one right here needs to be leveled up a little bit. But this one right here is just not where it needs to be. It needs to be squared up where it's lined up with those other two. And it needs to be leveled out. Plus it looks really tacky from out front. You can see it, the back of it when you drive by out front. And it just looks like it was tossed there. which. It was, but uh, I got Homer over there. I'll chain him up to the container, get it drug over to where it's squared up with that guy next to it, and then I'll level it out. But yeah, I'd just like to be done with the containers. It's been a long road with these containers, and they're very handy to have out here. And, uh, we're going to do some pretty cool stuff with all of them, but it'd just be nice to have them where they need to be and lined up, and I can fine-tune the leveling out later but uh, just tired of dragging them around so I'm gonna jump in and get that done really really yep <laughs> ah, she totally repositioned it building herself a little <laughs> like <a> stone walkway <laughs> I had a viewer after we showed Jamie's new outhouse on uh, the last video, I had a viewer that uh, said we should name it. No. And the very, the very next comment, the very next comment was, oh, oh Jamie got a loo. And it was uh, a viewer, I think, from the UK. And he meant loo, like L-O-O. -O. So... That was easy. I said, Jamie, we're going to start calling your poop box Louie. <laughs> she just has to put her little touch on 
anything that comes out here the trucks the dirt the the outhouse <laughs> this is not what's not necessary what you're doing I'm, I, <laughs> what I'm doing is not necessary. You're telling everybody that I'm nesting and I'm decorating a porta potty. I know you are. Um. Well, no, actually, I said that you nest on and decorate anything that comes out here, including the dirt. <laughs> including the dirt. Well, like just every inch of this place. You, I, I'm fine with it, honey. Okay, That's collapse. great. Well, you know That's what? Great. At least I'm doing something. When I can't do anything. <laughs> it's like I got mascara in her eyes, totally. Yeah, it's on your nose. Yeah, it is because I'm sweating. But look! <laughs> it's just how kidding. How cool is this? <laughs> like, you come around the corner, you're like, doo, doo, doo. oh, no mud puddles here because we can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopscotch. I got in Bullfrog to park him after I dumped the load that Jamie brought back. <laughs> dumped the load, look. I mean, I'm talking about dumping a load right now. <laughs> Old story. In front of, yeah, anyway. Uh, uh, I get in the Bullfrog and I hear this music. And Jamie's got her phone stuck up in this hole where the speaker's supposed to be for the factory radio and it actually didn't sound too bad Jamie up in that hole kind of makes it go through the cab pretty good huh well yeah anyway I got work to do will you quit bothering me uh, I didn't tell you to come over here and make fun right I wouldn't make fun I was not fun of you honey fun with you <laughs> anyway so I got sidetracked because I needed blocks to move this container so I went and got all my blocks and uh, sawed up a whole bunch of other stuff it's easy to get sidetracked out here but uh, it'll save me from having to use full ties under this one that's basically just going to be part storage I'll get to work on that be right back
That'll work. 15 feet 7 inches in between these containers on the front side and the back side. Pretty level. Like I said, I'll have to come back in a couple weeks with an actual level and level things up. But uh, yeah, that's about enough for one night. Maybe I'll go take a look at Duncan now. Peace out. First I'm gonna stop and go potty and then I'm gonna boogie. And I got an I got Annabella in the truck too. What is this? What the heck? Oh, 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 hey, Mr. Malala, big one! Hey! Get back here! Get back here! Get! What are you doing? You can't take my truck! What? Ha <laughs> ha